welcome to my analytics school today we have kartika uh, who is placed as a consultant in sprinkler we can start so hi kartika uh, welcome to my analytics school uh, so can you please uh, briefly introduce uh, yourself sure hello everyone my name is Karthik Kashyap. Uh, I have pursued mining engineering uh, from ITS in Dhanbad and I have got placed at Sprinkler as an implementation consultant. Okay. So, Karthik, yeah, today we are here to discuss all the interview processes of the Sprinkler and how can we uh, add certain or how can we understand the mistakes which commonly happen during our interview process. So we'll be trying to add value to the preparation part of the students. Uh, so I'll be asking questions around the recruitment process. Here comes the first one. What is the recruitment process uh, like for sprinkler? Test kya hua, kitne rounds the, kitne time contest tha, kitne type of questions the. Then how many rounds of interviews were scheduled? Like kaun sa tech tha, HR tha, uh, uske andar kya hua tha, kitne time ka gaya tha. And, wow, and we can end with what advice would you like to give it to the candidates who are preparing for the exam or, or the sprinkler or targeting this company? Okay, sure. So basically, uh, uh, firstly, it consisted of a aptitude test uh, of around 40 minutes or 45 minutes. And it consisted of the questions around uh, probability, PNC, etc. Uh, mainly, it was quantitative aptitude, uh, which you can prepare from the uh, CAD questions. and. Uh, there was only one test round after that a uh, short list of around 60 candidates came and uh, mm -hmm. uh, after that there were four interview rounds so uh, the important part uh, of sprinkler uh, is the interview round only uh, the test part was uh, quite easy uh, if you prepare it well enough for the pond part you can uh, easily go for the interview rounds but uh, the interview process is rigorous it consists of uh, four rounds the first round uh, consist of basically the uh, tech questions uh, mm -hmm. and uh, in the second round uh, uh, you'll be asked about uh, uh, basic estimates and case studies etc and uh, third round is also a similar kind of round in which you are given situation based questions and some more puzzles and case studies and uh, every round is eliminatory so like you can be eliminated after every round so you have to uh, clear each and every round with equal focus and the final round is the hr round um, uh, which actually is uh, the uh, easiest round because uh, if you have reached the HR round, that means you have almost uh, made it to Sprinkler. Got it. Well explained. Uh, thanks, Karthika. So, kafi hectic bhi raha hai process, exam bhi raha hai, HR round bhi raha hai, guess estimate, case studies, tech, communication. Lagbhag ho logo ne sabhi ko check kar liya hai. So that is one of the reasons the candidates which I have noticed who are generally entering into sprinkler uh, matlab, uh, quality ke hota hai. the work environment there is quite very efficient and you will get a lot of things to learn. Here comes the second one. Like what technical skills or languages are important for this role and how can candidates demonstrate it uh, in the interviews? Okay, so basically when you're preparing for these roles, uh, basically you're preparing for a data analyst or a consultant or for the data science field. So there are some common languages which are required in all these fields and the important ones are SQL, Python and uh, it's not a language but Excel is also important. So uh, for the uh, uh, sprinkler part, I think the SQL part was uh, mostly important because uh, questions around SQL were asked uh, in the first round itself and um, no one asks about excel in any of the rounds but it is important when you once you join the company so i think uh, preparing for excel is important in any field uh, and uh, python is good if you are uh, having machine learning projects in your resume so uh, you must be prepared with python if they ask questions around your project so i think uh, these are the uh, major important languages and software that you need to learn and uh, you can uh, show that you know these languages basically through your projects. Uh, you should men mention these in your uh, resume. And uh, um, while giving the interviews, you should try to direct the interviewer in the direction of your the strong part uh, that you know uh, in the la in that language. Uh, you're not audible. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. 
here comes the next one like tumne abhi kafi mock interviews diye honge sprinkler ka bhi interviews diya so what did you feel which sections of the resume were highly valued by the recruiter if you can give like top 3 or 4 sections jahan pe hame zyada focus karna chahiye yes we are sure so i think the uh, uh... different sections were focused in different rounds of interview uh, like uh, in the uh, first round itself uh, out of the resume you should be prepared with a good intro uh, because uh, around your introduction part only uh, you are asked various types of questions so a good introduction is uh, is a must because uh, you need to mention uh, your uh, stronger projects in your intro uh, the Uh, internship part should also be mentioned accordingly so that questions around that can be asked and in the resume itself i think uh, at least one internship is uh, important because it gives a really good impression on the interview and uh, ample amount of questions can be formed uh, around the internship part it uh, portrays that you have enough of experience uh, in the field that you are going to uh, work and um, after the internship part the project part is uh, one of the most important parts according to me uh, at least uh, two or three projects uh, in a resume is a must and uh, um, all those projects you should be uh, fluent in all those projects but at least one of them uh, you should be well versed in because uh, you should try to deviate the interview towards that project itself and uh, uh, if uh, uh, that goes well they'll uh, okay so i guess uh, there's some kind of network issues from the kartika side uh, yeah so he briefly summarized that ki internship kafi important hai next comes the project uske baad aate tumhare prs ke section to jo interview start hota you need to have a good idea ki kis tarike se tumhe apne aap ko khud ko present karna hai like the very first question once you enter into the interview hall will be like ki uh, tell me about yourself ya walk me through your resume so it would be it should be quite crisp sabhi cheeze cover honi chahiye tumhara pr ka perspective tumhara technical ka perspective ek story line honi chahiye ki kis tarike se tumne is field mein aane cha rahe the like to engineers the mein hamare kafi aas paas ke log to chemical engineering to ek bada sawal rehta tha ki why analytics and data science why not chemical specifically for myself like my be chemical engineer so why not chemical engineering so i had a story line ki uh, while i was working in lab we done couple of experiments humne data hum log din bhar khada ho ke wahan pe record karte the and then we used to upload it in excel we used to make different graphs histograms so particular point pe tipping points pata chalte the processors ke liye ki is point pe color change ho raha hai is point pe uske iske baad frequency match nahi hogi से फंक्शन नहीं करोगी तो दैट वाज सम लाइक एनालिसिस पार्ट यू आर प्लेइंग विद डेटा देन आई गेम टू नो कि क्या क्या चीज है अराउंड एंड या हियर कम्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लाइक व्हाट एरियाज ऑफ फोकस शुड कैंडिडेट्स प्रायोरिटाइज व्हाइल प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द इंटरव्यू एंड हाउ कैन दे स्टैंड आउट एक बेसिकली एक सभी का क्वेश्चन होता है कि अब मेरे क्लास से चार पांच लोग हैं अलग अलग डिपार्टमेंट से भी चार पांच लोग हैं तो तीस चालीस पचास तक लोग शॉर्टलिस्ट होते ही हैं इनके आपस में कैसे स्टैंड आउट कर सकते हैं इज देर सम काइंड ऑफ हैक या तुमने क्या चीज की थी तो तू कैसे प्रेजेंट किया था सो लाइक बेसिकली व्हाट आई नोटिस्ड इज पीपल सॉ डेटा एनालिस्ट और डेटा साइंस रोल एज देयर लास्ट रिजल्ट like if they're not able to make it to sd they'll try to turn list and they are not well prepared enough for this role so uh, the competition is among those who are well prepared for it and uh, by preparing well i mean those students who are well prepared in the case studies and guesstimates there is a proper procedure followed uh, in both of these things and one must be uh, completely aware of the process like uh, how should we start a guesstimate how should we conclude it what goes around in it so uh, i think uh, the major advantage over other candidates that one should have in these data analyst roles uh, is uh, how strong their grip is around the uh, uh, guesstimates and case study part because uh, most of my uh, batchmates were not aware of this and uh, they just uh, uh, messed up their whole interview process because they ended the whole case study in just one or two lines 
so uh, you need to be well prepared in the case study part if you're going for any uh, data analyst role and for the uh, sprinkler interview especially i think that uh, they they were focused on the guesstimates a lot so you should be well prepared for it uh, well said kartika i would like to one more point like it's not all about uh, giving answers ye nahi ki interviewer aata hai bachcha pooch question puchta hai tumhe bas answer dena there is certain type of framework which you need to follow like technicals ke liye jab tum sawal dete ho uske sath sath tum like example add karte ho ya tumhara koi experience add karte ho pr ke liye same tumhare life ka example jahan pe tumne ye cheez feel ki thi ya mehsoos ki thi to wahan pe tum ye cheez add karte ho tech mein uh, still you connect it with projects to that's beautifully said ki case estimate case studies ke liye bhi proper format hota hai jo which you need to follow ठीकेमेंट watch more and more videos around guesstimates and case studies mm-hmm. and all sort of things but i feel that uh, half of the battle is won by a uh, stable state of mind in the interview process so uh, before the uh, like uh, around 4 f- to 5 hours before the uh, interview start uh, you should just relax you should give up on all the uh, uh, preparing process that you are going through and just uh, sit down relax chat with friends and uh, try to calm yourself down because uh, whatever you needed to prepare for this interview you have in the past few months so now in a few hours you you'll be just panicking and i have seen many of my friends choking the interviews because of this because they have crammed so many things inside the head that they actually black out during the interviews so this is the most common mistake that i find and that this must be avoided what tips or strategies can candidates use to answer specific technical questions um basically for the uh, technical questions i find that uh, interviews are uh, interviewers are trying to uh, find out if you are able to explain this in simple terms uh, they'll always ask you questions like uh, explain it to me like you're explaining it to a 5 year old kid so uh, you must uh, have thorough knowledge of all the uh, technical skills that you have so that you can explain it in simple terms and uh, uh, you must be prepared with uh, these questions that how you are going to explain this question to a 5 year old uh this helps a lot and uh, this is asked in various uh, rounds of different interviews so uh, uh, this should be followed i guess what hr questions should candidates expect and how can they prepare to answer them effectively uh, okay so uh, uh, there are some standard hr questions in the industry uh, like uh, tell me about your strength and weaknesses where do you see yourself in the next 5 years so these basic hr questions must be prepared well you should uh, uh, practice them one or two times before the interviews and uh, one of the most important hr question is about the company like for sprinkler they'll ask you why sprinkler and mm-hmm. they ask uh, it in uh, all the rounds almost all the four rounds this question was asked uh, that why do you want to join this company so you must do your research on the company uh, in a thorough manner so that you can answer this question well and you should align your answers uh, according to what the interviewer wants to hear according to the culture of the company so that will impress the interviewers more what resources are would you recommend for candidates who are preparing for an interview in this field like agar mante ki consultants and they take data science so kis type ke tools aane chahiye for example sql tableau so can we want to add some uh yes sure like uh, as you mentioned sajin bhaiya that uh, these tools like uh, sql and tableau these are the most important ones in our field so uh, one must uh, uh, prepare uh, uh, around these field uh, around these tools and they should also incorporate these tools in their projects and the resources which are uh, good to go are like there are various resources on the youtube itself uh, you can uh, talk to your seniors and you can connect with other uh, seniors on the linkedin who are already in this role they will suggest you some better resources some refined resources uh, like uh, for the uh, guesstimates uh, there are uh, different case books from different iams that are very helpful like ima case book is really helpful and uh, even a youtube channel from i am lucknow uh, that uh, 
teaches you about case studies in a very thorough manner so i would recommend that also and uh, for the sql and uh, tableau part there are different kinds of projects uh, on the youtube i think you should uh, learn these tools through the projects like while preparing the project uh, you can use these tools and uh, in this way you will be excelling it How did you come to know about mass and why did you choose it? So overall, your experience is how it is? So yeah, it was a great experience, obviously. Uh, I owe mass a lot for my placement. And uh, I got to know about it like uh, we were just friends discussing about uh, a random email that came to our mail IDs. And uh, we thought that uh, basically in the data analyst uh, field, we do not have a clear roadmap. Uh, students start preparing randomly uh, from this video on YouTube, from uh, that uh, blog there, and we are not like we don't have a well-defined roadmap. So what Mass promised uh, us was a well-defined roadmap uh, in the field of data analyst, and that was exactly what we wanted. So we responded to that email, and uh, I think that was one of the best decisions of my life that uh, I got to get a good roadmap around data analyst. I uh, got all the materials around case studies and uh, guesstimates and there were different videos for uh, learning Tableau and uh, I almost gained all the uh, uh, skills revolving data analysts from the mass platform itself. They have beautiful websites around uh, uh, for for learning these tools and they have also their exam platforms where we can give mock tests and practice. So these all really help. Wow. <laughs> The last question from our side, like what advice would you like to give it to someone who is considering joining mass and uh, like to get into the career of uh, like analyst, consultant, data science? Um, I would like to tell them that if you are considering, uh, if you're seriously considering data analyst uh, as your career option, then you must join mass because here you uh, don't only uh, get resources that will uh, teach you well enough about this field, but you also get some great connections. Uh, you uh, uh, get to connect with the uh, people who are already in the industry. You uh, get uh, great mentors like Sajan Bhaiya, Shivam Bhaiya, uh, who are connected with you throughout. Uh, like uh, you can uh, discuss with them any professional or personal problems because uh, students tend to go in a, a different uh, like uh, uh, tension episodes and depression episodes while preparing and they're always there to consult you in that phase also so i think uh, uh, mass um, acts a lot like uh, placement parents for you uh, they guide you in the right direction they give you the uh, proper material to prepare and they save you all the hustle that otherwise you have to do yourself and uh, which at times is too risky because this is uh, going to be the first step in your career after all you can't risk it so you must join mass and uh, be assured for a, a better future beautifully said well explained uh it's all about applying to your processes definitely so those students uh, who are looking at this video so you can just understand the overall resources are available it's all about consistency ये नहीं कि इधर उधर भाग लिया कुछ कर लिया कुछ कर लिया स्पेसिफिक चीज है कब कब कैसे एस्टीमेट्स करने हैं इंटरव्यूज के कब कितना पहले चार राउंड्स करना है इसके बारे में समझो सीनियर से समझो यू कैन इवन कांटेक्ट अस एंड इट इज रियली ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर करियर इवन थैंक्स कार्तिक यार थैंक यू थैंक यू